welcome to welcome to the uh, demo of our uh, solution multi data visualizer and analyzer so team ashoka bm and raghavendra vyar so this is this solution is the mainly the visualization and uh, data analysis uh, data data visualization and analysis part okay yeah so we will come to the uh, the first part the main what are the benefits and advantages of this uh, uh, solution okay so he, it is having lot of advantages using this uh, we will come to the uh, um, upcoming slides we will explain the what are the main advantages of this line okay and this is user friendly architecture this solution is very easy to uh, uh, user can easy, easily visualize and understand the data or customer customer can easily identify the pain part of the uh, business area or revenue generations or uh, any problematic solution areas okay and visual explore, exploration so in the in this visualization user can directly see in the solution in the single screen he can browse the large data sets like million million uh, volume record sets maybe 1 to 10 millions of data you can see in a single screen with you can rotate and see you can access different axis you can rotate and view the data okay and if you click on that particular uh, node or particular uh, points or customer particular customer data right you can easily identify that specific node details okay and risk analysis so uh, the risk analysis we can identify for example we are taking two different uh, uh, solutions uh, use cases okay so first use case is uh, cug data charging system in the in the uh, ericsson we have receiving the charging system data this charging system data uh, we are using for this uh, one of the use case for this solution in this charging system data we are the customer wise revenue uh, we are gathering uh, for the low the revenue each and every subscriber they have their own recharges balances and revenue generations so the business customer or network operator wants to identify the revenue of that particular uh, region particular location particular state or particular city so easily he can identify the based on the clusters cluster size and uh, easily click on the particular node individual level we can go deep and identify the status of the voice data sms revenue the whether the subscriber type is prepaid postpaid or hybrid what kind of revenue he is uh, 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 what is the volume of uh, what is the price the uh, revenue he is generated that particular uh, month so easily identify based on this and the second second part is the network operation center the network operation center we have the different data types i mean different data set this is one of the different data set it is having the uh, location code and location uh, name and uh, net traffic uh, traffic look uh, traffic condition health status and uh, node traffic maximum traffic level and minimum traffic level and uh, any alert messages this type of alerting we will receive this uh, uh, we can easily visualize and understand that uh, network operation center data okay so so we will come to the advantages part okay in the advantages 
we have uh, it is it, the first one it is easy to visualize and analyze high volume millions of data sets in a single screen in any data set we cannot see or we cannot understand that the uh, data how the structure what how the distribution happened with the, in the region wise city wise location wise or any group wise uh, it's very difficult to identify looking at the flat file or databases but in this screen easily in the one screen you can see the how the data is distributed in the different parts and different clusters so different regions okay so you can in this this is a 3d visualization technique we used the user can easily it is not a fixed or static uh, visualization it is 3d rotational axis uh, this is uh, you can three axis we can x y z and three axis we can see that 360 degree view okay and second part is if you click on the any node if you click on the any node right you can easily get the details of that particular location particular region particular what is the revenue of that particular subscriber and what kind of subscriber is what is the status of the subscriber and what is the signal and what is the traffic of that particular uh, node and uh, okay so the next third point is uh, rotational axis visualization as i said previously it, we have the three different types of rotational we are using different uh, technique called uh, 3d java 3d visualization technique okay we uh, it will rotate all the angles so in usually in 2d right in normal charts and visualizations we can see that only front side but in this you can rotate and uh, rotate all 360 degree and it is having all three axis x x axis y axis and z axis you can see the data a customer or end user can see the full data in one screen and easily rotate and visualize visualize that particular cluster data okay so looking at the single screen visualize and understand the customer volumes okay so uh, in the one single screen you can easily understand what is the uh, maximum i mean what is the capacity and what is the total uh, cluster size looking at the cluster size and the density of that nodes is customer easily can understand what is the size uh, you can easily identify that low customer base high customer base or uh, average customer base you can identify that okay and fifth one is easy to recognize and visualize the revenue and a of any individual nodes if you click on the any individual node right uh, in the tree see easily that specific node details like customer name uh, or subscriber type and uh, wh what is the revenue what is the sms count what is the data consumed what is the uh, 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 call voice uh, minutes he consumed what type of subscriber whether is a prepaid postpaid or hybrid okay these kind of details you will get it on the single click okay and sixth is we can easy to identify high business area and low business area to increase the sales performance already each and uh, we are mainly focus sales people's focus on the which area easily uh, which area needs to focus on the more uh, sales okay so they want to increase the sales performance right so easily looking at the uh, cluster size or nodes group right so easily i we can increase the sales performance looking and the the focus on the particular region and uh, identify the root cause and uh, more focus on the sales point of view okay and seventh easy to identify high risk region and low risk regions to increase revenue generations okay in this point we have uh, we have the network 
uh, operators always wants to increase the revenue generations part, right? So, so when we looking at that nodes group or cluster groups, okay? So easily we can identify the which is the high risk region, which is the low risk region, which is high subscriber base location, which is low subscriber base region, which area is the very low uh, low subscriber is uh, subscribed and easily identify those areas looking at the screen. OK, and you looking at this visualization technique easily. We can more focus on the revenue generation part and uh, uh, incomes. OK, so based on that, uh, easily we can the net it will be very helpful for the network operator and customers and even if the uh, um, telecom telecom uh, operations companies also okay and uh, and yeah it is management can take business decisions easily looking at the specific node cluster size. OK, so even the management people can also take the decision based on the specific cluster size. So I mean, uh, they they are easily identify. They can easily the what is the pinpoint? What is the risk area to identify and how to mitigate the uh, problem, uh, pro um, uh, the specific problem, and uh, solve solve the uh, uh, business uh, so, uh, business uh, issues. Okay, yeah. And next ninth point is uh, NOC. Our IT teams can take network optimization and performance tuning decisions basis on the graph status and network health parameters. So here the NOC, the second use case already we are discussed about it. The network operation centers and IT teams can easily optimize the network. What is the tower base stations? Or what is the traffic level? What is the high alert or, or red alert or warning. So oh, which location, which area, which tower, what is the tower ID, what is the location ID, what is the ticket number? So these kind of parameters can help the uh, NOC team, uh, network operations team and easily uh, uh, identify the uh, problematic area and optimize the uh, and optimization and tuning of the performance of the specific uh, network uh, nodes okay and 10th is this solution is low cost solution and no license fees and maintenance fees is required okay the 11th point is no additional hardware machine needed for this solution so it is not we, we, uh, this solution is not required any special hardware or any special uh, uh, server needed. It can run in our normal basic laptops with the minimal hardware configuration and it can support millions of data, uh, uh, subscriber based volume data set. OK, it can millions, maybe 10, 20, 30. Yen. It, it will be huge data sets. It will support in a very low configuration machine as a normal laptops. OK, and 12th, no extra configuration and training needed for this solution execution. So for this uh, solution execution, right, though, uh, so no need of any special configuration or training needed for some softwares or some applications needed special trainings and how to use and how to uh, operate all those uh, the specific training needed, but in this software, very minimal uh, uh, minimal training is enough. I mean, basic understanding is enough to to execute the applications and browse the data set and show view the visualization and go to deep dive into the data sets. And it is just plug and play the applications and, and data sets with browsing options. OK. And uh, we will come to the technologies part. For the technologies we are using for this Java 
it it is minimum is java 1.8 and above and uh, uh, java 3d graphic libraries uh, are using for this uh, uh, visualization technique okay algorithms so graph algorithms we are using for the traversing uh, traversing and uh, building the graphs okay and tree traversal computation algorithms are using for the uh, traversing uh, the different data sets okay uh, so easily uh, easily the route to leaf traversing using this tree traversal algorithms and canvas drawing algorithm for the visualizations so as i said x y z axis rotational and uh, easily zoom levels and uh, zoom in zoom out all these options we are using the canvas algorithm okay and uh, hardware so in this uh, solution uh, require very minimum uh, ram is minimum it's 8 gb ram is enough starting from that and basic uh, intel i3 processor are more it, but it should support the uh, 3d graphics okay so this is the minimum requirement okay so first we will come and uh, now we will go to the uh, solution uh, demo part so okay so we uh, now first we will go to the uh, the pr uh, presentation ppt uh, screenshot demo okay so this is the first use case charging system stp data okay charging data and visualizations okay so this is the first entry screen the landing page uh, landing screen of the uh, solution okay and this is the data set currently we are using our uh, uh, existing network operators existing uh, uh, operators uh, charging system data uh, we are using it uh, it's it's a uh, it's a real uh, i mean uh, present data the whatever the um, existing data we are using same data we are using for this so this is cug closed group closed user uh, group uh, CUG data. Uh, so it is having child MSSN, parent MSSN, SMS, what is the voice and what is the data and the revenue and subscriber group. These are all the parameters we are using. This is a just, uh, just it is a few, uh, only six, seven attributes we are using. We can use N number of attributes. Maybe if you can add the, uh, uh, add the uh, offers, packages, and benefits, bonus, and any, any parameters we can add, and uh, you can use that okay so this is the uh, visualizations so the whatever i showed you the previous uh, screen right this is the visualization of that particular data okay this is different clusters you can see one two three four five three uh, three clusters you can see that okay so on click of that i already said in the previous uh, slides so on click of that particular node right you can see the uh, MSS DN number and what is the data volume 4GB like example. Okay, what is the revenue? What type of subscriber, whether it is prepaid or postpaid subscriber on click of the particular node, you can see that red selection area right so that is the if you click on that particular uh, node right you can see that particular data and easily look and understand that what is the uh, insights of that particular group okay yeah and second use case is network operation center so in this network operation center we have this kind of data location code usually ticket number uh, they they use the raise the tickets okay the customer and network status it may be the tower uh, tower code or tower id and traffic what is the traffic level of that particular node and what is the alert type it is a red warning or action required or no and location name whether which location it is coming under that 
ओके मे बी चेन्नई बेंगलूर कोलकता नोएडा चेन हईदराबाद लाइक दट ओके सो दिस इज देटा से this is the sample data set it this is not the real one actually so in the real one uh, we didn't got a uh, chance to get the from the in network operations team so this is the sample data okay so this is the visualizations of the sample data uh, network in network operations center okay so this is this is the uh, deep dive into the node level so if you click on the specific cluster specific node right we can easily identify the location what which location it is bangalore chennai delhi or uh, hyderabad so and what what is the tower id tower 29 tower 12 tower uh, 64 so like that we can identify the tower id and traffic what is the traffic level of the uh, particular node okay it may be the uh, 1800 3500 the traffic is 3000 we we can we already we are setting the threshold for that uh, particular uh, subscriber i am mean, traffic okay so what kind of alert we need to provide it is a red or warning or uh, green or normal okay so whether the we need to take the action required action or not that also we can get that okay and this is the sample screen for the uh, high volume data okay this is uh, this is few millions of records maybe uh, uh, this is currently actually nearly 1 million record okay so this is visualization of 1 million so you can see uh, 5 million 10 million 20 million 30 million the, whatever the volume you can go right so it is you can see this this kind of visualizations if the more data you can zoom in zoom out and uh, visualize that all the axis okay so thank you now we will go to the uh, solution uh, demo okay uh, real solution demo okay so this is the landing page this is the uh, main screen okay now we will browse the charging system first use case charging system data okay so we can select the uh, data set okay we can start the visualize okay this is the our charging system data whatever i showed you in the screen right so this is we can select what kind of attributes you want to see the child ms chain i want and data i want to see and uh, uh, sms i want to see and voice and uh, revenue i want to see and uh, subscriber type whether the prepaid or postpaid i can select it and enter update that data set and uh, okay so now we will little we can zoom it okay we can zoom it so i will click on the node okay so this mscs in he this subscriber 99 uh, the 9199345712 this subscriber is consumed 2gb and uh, 1950 uh, his total bill okay and uh, 46 minutes he talked it and he, the subscriber type is postpaid okay and this subscriber uh, also he is using uh, 2gb and 750 his bill and 45 okay this subscriber type is postpaid in this location okay okay so we will come to the uh, 9934596611 gb data i consumed it and he recharged 1150 pack okay this this type is prepaid okay
okay this this way you can easily identify the specific node wise and specific group wise data okay and if you want you can zoom it and i can see okay you can see that you can rotate you can rotate the top to bottom left to right as i said 360 degree right so this this way you can go and visualize okay see you can rotate and you can view that particular data okay okay so we will go to the next data set okay we'll go to the network operation center data set okay so we will zoom it little okay this is the network operation center data set okay we can select the attribute location code location name and ticket number and network status okay these parameters we can select it and update it okay so so in this example i clicked on this location okay this is chennai this is tower number 15 and traffic is 2000 alert condition is red and action is no okay and we, we can select some other this location is bangalore okay okay so this is tower 29 and traffic is 1800 alert is red action no okay and we can select one more this delhi location is delhi tower 12 traffic is 3500 alert is red action required okay so in this node we need some needs to take uh, some actions to load the balances of the traffic okay so this way we can easily identify the network operation centers data and this is the sample data we are using it but it is not the original uh, live data so uh, uh, this way you can add any number of parameters are uh, uh, different kpa so uh, identify that specific region or specific cluster or specific area for example this is delhi area is very high dense area so large in uh, large uh, subbases having but in the chennai and chennai right it was very minimal subscriber base you can this is very low base okay chennai is the low base and delhi is the very high subscriber base and bangalore is the medium medium level so this way you can easily identify and analyze and visualize the gather the information from the uh, uh, from this solution okay so this way you can rotate top to top to bottom left to right and uh, um yeah okay okay the, you can zoom in zoom out zoom zoom out zoom in options okay so okay yeah so uh, for thanks for the watching this video okay thank you very much